bet you all expect to see KC in this video, are you? That's why you're clicking this video, huh? Well, hate to break it to you. Casey's not here at the moment. That are you red title. This Q intro. And it's a new one. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is I, the Dark Phantom. Sorry that KC couldn't be here, he got stuck in traffic. But don't worry, I'm here to fill in for him. And now, with that said, let's talk about SpongeBob SquarePants, or more specifically, the vile villains he faces. You think this SpongeBob is way too friendly to have any vile villains to speak of? You'd be wrong. There are some nasty baddies right down in Bikini Bottom, and, it, and we're gonna count them down today. And if you disagree with my list, or agree with my list, quite frankly, I don't care, because it's my list, so... <clears throat> anyway, let's get started, shall we, with the top 10 SpongeBob Square Villains! <laughs> Number 10 Flats the Flounder Now this guy is a very sadistic bully as well. He wants to kick Spongebob's butt for no reason other than wanting to kick Spongebob's butt. And well, who doesn't like a run-of-the-mill jerk? <laughs> and the funny thing is that, that everyone keeps taking a side, including Mrs. Puff. No one can tell that and this guy really wants to kick his butt and was willing to kick his own father's butt just to do it. <laughs> now that's a real jerk. And not to mention the father's also afraid of him, so go figure. <laughs> Next number. Number 9. The Tattletale Strangler. This guy may have only made one appearance in the show, but made a big impact. He literally strangled anyone who dared to tattle on him. He tried to strangle a sponge, and for talent on him. Kind of odd though, I don't think sponges have necks. Hmm. But, give a point to his creativity for disguises. Classic Hannibal mustaches. <laughs> and well, just don't tattle on this guy, or else. Next number. Number 8. Dennis. Make his debut appearance in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Dennis is a very, very sadistic bounty hunter, really loving what he does in his job of crushing his opponents and with his literal big boot. <laughs> with spikes, give a voice for creativity on that one. <laughs> And sure, SpongeBob and Patrick may have defeated him out of sheer dumb luck, but hey, at least he went out with a bang. And not a little explosion, but you know what I mean. Next number. Number 7. The Evasive Side. I don't know why, but evil duplicates always took my fancy. I guess I could relate to them in a way. Anyway, I really enjoy the offensive side. He's practically an evil version of SpongeBob SquarePants. And well, I was one day hoping there could be an episode where he makes a return in his own full body and be an evil SpongeBob. Now that would be pretty good. <laughs> I'd kill for an episode like that. And I think I will. <laughs> Fun up on that. Next number. Number 6. The Hash Slinging Slasher. 
Sure, he may have been a Maple Leaf story character that Scooby made up, but you don't want to lie. He is very terrifying. Who knows what he can do with that deadly flipper of spatula, if you will. Uh, I don't know how you could kill a person with a spatula, but whatever. This is seriously a terrifying villain. I mean, sure, it was make believe, but still. And I further enjoy I, that little twist at the end. Spoil it, by the way. And why don't it turn out to be some sort of nerd? <laughs> you gotta love that kind of stuff. Next number. Number five, the dirty bubble. <laughs> now this is one nasty, ugly bubble. And apparently he's one of the arch nemesis of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I personally wouldn't call him that, but hey, yeah, the show is up there, so he's up there. And, well, uh, he's practically invincible in his bubble form. And, well, almost. Why don't you stop, don't know why you can stop this guy as a pointy object, and for some reason he keeps going back. A couple of I guess? But regardless... It's, he's a really enjoyable villain. Number four, the Jillians. Imagine the invasion of the body snatchers, but in SpongeBob SquarePants form. Hell, oh, this is pretty good right here. He's a legitimate threat to those with bikini bottom. Um, I mean, they turn in duplicates of those guys and use them as some sort of fuel or something. They're enjoying the cool, cold air, but don't like mayo. Hey, I like mayo. Everyone's be a critic. Anyways, bottom line, terrifying jellyfish creatures. And that's pretty much all I need to say. Next number. Number three. Man Ray. Now this is a real arch super villain of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah, I mean, he's so terrifying, they actually put in some sort of ice gravy stasis thing. And he's a legitimate threat. And on an alternate timeline, he actually took over Bikini Bottom with an iron fist. Now that is a very terrifying, sinister villain. And is that said, on to the next number. Number 2. The Flying Dutchman. Now this is the most terrifying ghost in all the seven seas. If all of Bikini Bottom feared him, know that he's gonna take their souls. Make a deal with them, or whatever. Sure he made tons of things out of sheer boredom. Don't blame him, really. And really, I really enjoy this guy. The three reallys, really. <laughs> I did a fourth one! <laughs> well, anyway, the Flying Dutchman is one nasty, mean green dude. <laughs> Don't be in the receiving end of it, rat. Whether you're a human or a sea creature. Next number. And the number one greatest SpongeBob SquarePants villain is. Plankton! <laughs> He may be tiny, but he's really big on evil. He tried everything to try to get the patty formula. But usually ends in failures. Well, also try to take over the world. I think he bottom. Well, whatever. Regardless, Plankton is the nastiest baddie in all of Bikini Bottom. And you guys probably saw him coming as soon as he was in the, the title. But, I, I can't you honestly blame me. Plankton tries his darnest to get his patty fork get the patty formula. Uh, uh, and really enjoys being evil. <laughs> and also hanging out with his computer wife, Karen. And we'll usually be snarking and sarcastic. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, let's hear from you. 
Who do you think is the nastiest baddie in all of Bikini Bottom? And let me know in the comment section below, shall you? Or will you? Whatever. You know what I mean. And see you all next time. Farewell, friends. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and DeviantArt.